Hi. Now we've got a question here where we've got to differentiate with respect to x, x to the power half multiplied by the natural log of 3x. So you might like to give this a try. So uh, I'll give you a moment just to pause the video. Okay, well, if you did have a go, let's just see how you got on. First of all, so often I see students write just simply dy dx equals and they haven't defined this, say, as being y. So I'm going to say let y equal x to the power half then multiplied by the natural log of 3x. Now what we've got here is a product of two functions of x. x to the power half is one of the functions of x and the natural log of 3x as being the other function of x. So when this happens and you just can't expand it out easily, we use the product rule. And it's a rule that you should be familiar with. You normally find it in your formula book, but uh, I'd encourage you to learn it. And that is if you've got y equals a product of two functions of x, let's call them u and v, it can be shown that dy by dx always equals one part, u say, times the differential with respect to x of the other part, dv dx in this case, plus, and then we do it the other way around, v times du by dx. So a rule then that uh, I would encourage you to try and remember, even though it might well be in your formula book. So when we come to differentiating this, I'm going to have the u as being x to the power half and v as being the natural log of 3x. So we're going to have, therefore, dy by dx is going to equal one of those parts, u say, x to the power half, multiplied by the differential now of the other part, natural log of 3x. Notice I've written this part though in brackets, and I'd always encourage you to do that for each of the bits, so that you don't end up writing ambiguous statements. Now when it comes to differentiating the natural log of 3x, it's going to be 1 over 3x, multiplied by the differential of 3x, which is 3. And what I've done here is I've used the chain rule. Now you might want a bit of help on this bit, and what I'll do is I'll do this in full at the end of the video, okay, so that you can check how to do that if you're unsure. But you should be up to speed and be able to do something like this anyway. Okay, let's move on. We plus here, and then we do natural log of 3x, put it in brackets, natural log of 3x, multiplied by the differential of x to the power half. Well, that's going to be a half x to the power minus a half, okay, for something like that. Half x to the power minus a half. Now we just need to clean this up. So... For this term here, I notice that these two threes cancel one another out. And so it leaves us now with x to the power half over x. And so because we're doing division, we can subtract the powers. So that's going to be x to the power a half minus 1, x to the power minus a half then. And then for this term, I'd want to put the half x to the minus half before the natural log of 3x. So I've got a half x to the power minus a half and then multiply that by the natural log of 3x. So I don't really need any brackets there. Okay, it's not ambiguous anymore. So that's acceptable. However, you might want to take this further. Okay, what you could do is that you could pull, uh, think of x to the power minus a half is 1 over x to the half. Pull out a half as well, so you get 1 over 2x to the power a half. And then in brackets here, you're going to need to have a 2, so that when you multiply this, you'll end up with x to the power minus a half. And we've got this out the front as a common factor, so the second term will just be plus the natural log of 3x. So that's an alternative that you could use. 
Okay. Now I did say that I'd show you how you could go about differentiating the natural log of 3x and get this result here. It's done by considering the chain rule. So we'll look at that now and when we're dealing with the chain rule, I'll just write it up here for you. The chain rule essentially is that if you're trying to find dy by dx, it's the same as doing dy by d something, let's say dt, as long as you multiply it by dt again, there, as if they, so that they cancel out, if you like, over dx. So that when we have, say, y equals the natural log of 3x, okay, then if I let t equal the 3x, then I've got y equals the natural log of t. So when I'm trying to differentiate this, let's say dy dx, okay, I do dy by dt first of all. So if I differentiate y with respect to t, differential of the natural log of t is 1 over t, 1 over t. But t is 3x, so that's why I write 1 over 3x. And now I've got to multiply this by dt by dx. And t is 3x, so if I differentiate this with respect to x, I get a 3. So that is the reason how I got 1 over 3x multiplied by 3, through the chain rule, okay? And so this really comes out as simply 1 over x at the end of the day because the two 3's cancel. So I hope that's given you an idea on that part just in case you have problems in this area. Alright.